Good morning, this is Kieran from CryptoBoost. Really happy to have you here with me today. So we've had a bit of a correction again after a small relief rally up to our resistance. If you remember yesterday's video, we um, I talked about possibly touching this resistance point here, which we actually did. We have a small touch right here. And then um, in the last four hours, we've had the, the, the correction continued. Now, where the price is going to go, I expect it to maybe retest the lows here around this area here, around the 9,500 and 9,400 US dollar range. Now, it's also possible that we've got um, a higher low that's forming, but uh, I, I, I guess like a, a touch point but, uh, at those ranges I just mentioned at the 9,400 US dollar support is possible and the reason for that is basically um the the ichimoku cloud edge to edge trade which often happens as soon as the um, the, the candles enter the cloud so here if we look at the daily chart we are just enter the cloud and very often when we're in the cloud you don't really trade because it's uncertain which direction the um, the price is going to go so it's a bit uh, uncertain now one thing that often happens is as soon as the price enters the cloud like it did here that it goes all the way to the other side and makes a touch point now it'll be at around 8800 but it doesn't always have to happen it's just a high probability that that can happen and very often when it does happen it might just be the wick of a candle uh, just the wick of a candle that touches it all right so if you're looking forward to the next bull run then i'd appreciate if you smash that subscribe button and click the notification bar i'll be uploading a lot of videos in the coming weeks all right let's get started with brexit how does brexit impact cryptocurrency now is it a chance for crypto group to gain a stronger foothold in Europe? Now, of course, there are uncertainties have been clouding the financial markets as the US-China trade war has intensified. And so far, there's no end in sight for this long-standing trade dispute between the two biggest economies in the world. Now, with Boris Johnson taking the helm as Prime Minister, the possibility of a no-deal Brexit is higher than ever. How should crypto investors play this? What implications could it have in terms of price action and crypto development? And this article is going to try and solve answer these questions. So here, first of all, we've got a nice graph with can the deal, the Brexit deal be changed? I'm not a fan of the Brexit deal to, to put that out here. So I would uh, be uh, happy if the Brexit deal fell through. And um, yeah, so can the Brexit deal be changed? So here you've got major changes um, complete by 31st of October. If it's no, they will seek delay. If no, it will continue to MPs block, no deal. If it continues to no, and then it could be a no Brexit deal. So, I think it's quite interesting. So here, here we also have if there's no new deal, it would also continue to MPs block no deal. Um, yeah, I think this is pretty interesting. There are a few possibilities that would lead to um, the the Brexit deal being cancelled, and I hope that happens. You can look at this um, this uh, chart flow. Um, calmly I'll link it down below as I always do with all the articles I um, talk about so it may seem relatively quiet when it comes to Brexit development and updates however this is more like the calm before the storm the UK Parliament will return for the summer recess in the second week of September and PM Johnson is expected to have a series of intense debates with lawmakers to avoid a no deal Brexit now the challenges the scale of, uh, of the impact that a no deal Brexit could bring to the UK and the global economy is still unclear. However, the latest statement from the Bank of England could provide a clue. Despite the keeping the benchmark interest rates unchanged, the BOE highlighted the risk of the slowing 
of the underlying growth due to Brexit, saying the growth appears to have slowed since 2018 to a rate below potential, reflecting both the impact and intensifying Brexit-related uncertainties. In, in addition, the MPC said evidence from companies up to the middle of July suggests that uncertainty over the United Kingdom's future trading relationship with the European Union has become more entrenched. So um, I won't go over all of these um, key data points, but I think what is very interesting here in this article, I think you guys think is interesting, is the Brexit impact on cryptocurrency. So Bitcoin has surged, of course, over a thousand percent since the Brexit referendum, which um, result announcement, and it's expected to remain in focus as the UK Parliament is set to resume in two weeks. So here, this is a, this was a poll with um, uh, asking what the public opinion is on the Brexit impact on cryptocurrency and 63% um, believe there's going to be a positive impact on cryptocurrency because um, uh, people are going to be looking for another hedge, 18% uh, um, neutral and, um, and also 18.5% are negative so they believe that should the Brexit deal happen then it's going to have a negative impact on cryptocurrency. But I do understand, even though uh, I hope that the Brexit deal doesn't come through, even though it might have a good impact on cryptocurrency, uh, it, it probably would have a good impact on cryptocurrency in the long run because people are still looking for a hedge, as uh, hedge has been the financial buzzword of the last few months. So a study from uh, Syndicator Analytics published on March 28, 2019 shows that 63% of the surveyed analysts think that Brexit will continue to be one of the major sources of risk. Now, conclusion, of course, it's very difficult to look at all these macroeconomic aspects and the geo uh, geopolitical tensions have made the word hedge, as just mentioned, the latest buzzword in the financial markets. Whether Bitcoin or more broadly crypto is a hedging tool or not, its correlation with traditional assets are getting closer by the day. The development of Brexit is certainly a major theme in the fourth quarter. Volatility is expected to increase as Brexit will soon unfold under the lead of PM Johnson. So very interesting um, to see how this plans out. I've got my fingers crossed that the Brexit deal uh, falls through, but yeah, let's see how that happens. Um, yeah, not too happy about uh, PM Johnson also. So let's continue. Warnings issued to Aussies betting 90% of retirement funds on cryptocurrency. So apparently they are putting a lot of their retirement eggs in one basket. So apparently this is also against the law and 18,000 Australians are about to find this out. So the Australian tax office has begun writing stern letters of warning to 18,000 self-managed super funds, SMSFs, who have invested more than 90% of their retirement funds in a single asset class, such as property or cryptocurrency. So given combined assets of around 700 billion US dollars, SMFs are a major growth area for cryptocurrency business in Australia. Now, there's a crackdown sparked by the LRBA. Uh, the crackdown was sparked by concerns of a tenfold increase in the number of limited recourse borrowing arrangements and more than 40% of SMSFs with LRBAs have 90% of more of their wealth concentrated in a single asset. Most invest the money into a single property investment, but some SMSFs are betting farm on crypto. So the Australian Financial Review the report this week said that Indian exchange Zepay had been partly attracted to rehome itself in Australia due to favorable favorable laws surrounding the investment of retirement funds in crypto. So I think Zepay is all, yeah, it's, um, that Indian exchange we mentioned a while ago that we're talking about um, what would happen should India ban cryptocurrency and they had many clients in India. So I think it's also good that they're branching out to Australia and they've got their, their second home there. 
Now he says Australia happens to be the only developed country where retirement money, superannuation money can very easily be invested into cryptocurrency. Zepay crypto exchange CEO Ajit Kurunana said the AFT noted that the Bitcoin Australia website has SMF as owner you can decide how much you would like to invest in crypto this can be as little as one percent or as much as hundred percent of your super it's completely up to you and i think i mean i'm, I'm kind of split on this on on one hand i think it's great that you, are, you can um invest a part of your retirement funds in cryptocurrency but i think it's extremely risky and the, the, there's always this thing that you have to invest how much you can afford to lose. And basically having 100% of your retirement funds in cryptocurrency is not investing uh, what you're not afraid to lose. Uh, I mean, of course, it's long term and you can be super bullish and so on. But I think it's still important to have both feet on the ground uh, and realize that it's still a very, very risky uh, asset class to be investing in. All right, now Binance. Binance has um, uh, has has announced one or two months ago that they closed their exchange, or they're closing their the exchange, um, the global exchange to U.S. citizens, and now they're announcing that they will resume trading with their new exchange, the special U.S. branch. So Binance to resume U.S. operations within two months. And predict CEO CZ. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the global Binance exchange is going to block the access to US users, I think, mid or end September. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's the 17th of September. So, navigating US regulations. Chao, also known as CZ within the crypto community, made his prediction in an interview with online news outlet Cheddar, published on the 15th of August, when asked about Binance's return to operations in the US. Chao said, I don't want to promise any fixed dates, but there's a lot of work being done and there's a lot of things going on in flux, but I would like to say in a month or two. Back in June, Binance announced that the exchange would temporarily be restricting services in the US as it worked to open a new division to operate with Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, FinCEN. Sorry. So the future of the market in response to a question about the impact of US regulatory ambiguity. Zhao said, I think the US is one of the most developed market because I think it has good regulations in the traditional financial space. Crypt is a new thing and for new things, the US is a big country and with a lot of regulatory bodies and very large market in a large market is harder to regulate. Um, a bit split on his opinion, but I guess he has to uh, play nice uh, <laughs> to, to, to be able to enter the market. I mean, I think the the U.S. has much too strict. Uh, I think it's the, the regulations are much too strict, and they're they're too scared of of many uh, advancements in the financial and technological fields. So, but yeah, that's just my own opinion, and I guess uh, Joe has to play nice in order to have his exchange in <laughs> in the U.S. and make sure he gets all the regulatory requirements needed. All right, Cardano, again, Cardano, Cardano partners with Blockchain Venture Studio to accelerate adoption. The Cardano Foundation has partnered with Berlin Blockchain Venture Studio Confidio to accelerate Cardano adoption as strategic partnership. An announcement published by the Cardano Foundation on the 15th of August reveals that the foundation has partnered with Confidio. The partnership will aim to enable real-world businesses cases on the Cardano blockchain. So prior to the announcement, the initial focus of the collaboration will be on use cases in banking, logistics, pharmaceuticals, industries, and trade finance with government and public service use cases to follow. Chairperson of the Cardano Foundation, Nathan Kaiser, pointed out that the partner's location is also very important. Confidio's home base, Berlin, is a major global blockchain center and its worldwide relevance will help us put uh, the spotlight on one of its kind platforms. So an information campaign, um, Dr. Mervin G. Maestra says, our aim is to increase the understanding of the protocol in both corporate and startup environments and accelerate value added for both Cardano and the blockchain community 
and our clients. Very interesting indeed. Looking forward to the Cardano 1.6 release, which should happen in a few days. So uh, IOHK has announced that um, Project Cardano is rolling out version 1.6 within a few days. So very hyped about this project. Looking forward to um, more growth and yeah looking forward to what they're, they're going to be bringing out soon so that was it for today looking forward uh to talking to you <laughs> to seeing you in the next one and uh, if you've got any questions uh leave them down in the comments below i will gladly answer them if you've got any suggestions also leave them down below and if you like these type of videos then smash that subscribe button hit the notification bell so that you can stay up to date all right so have a great day see you next one Bye bye